right guys welcome back to farming simulator 22 as promised uh, we're starting right back up where we left off I literally stopped the recording and then started it back up again um, so yeah we're gonna continue on here with all of these barley contracts that we took and so we're gonna send the large combine up north to field 8 and then we're gonna hop in our little combine and go down to 81 I think it is you get those two knocked out next because both of those are going to feed and grain south and then everything else that we do will be uh, for Johnson's Farmers Market and that's where we're gonna get the bulk of our stuff anyway so let's disconnect the PTO there excellent and we should be able to send the worker up as long as the harvesters folded they can drive it if it's not folded then they won't they won't transport it for you the question though is can they get it up there without derping out um, that remains to be seen so we'll get them on the road I almost wish that um, when the AI is controlling uh, or at least driving a vehicle that the collisions removed that would solve a lot of problems um, but you know maybe it's probably not as simple as that okay so we want you to go up to field eight and just stage yourself it doesn't really matter right here okay good luck hopefully you can make it up there and we want you to go up to the north grain mill and stage yourself there and then i'll come up and offload once you get up there and then we are going to hop in here <coughs> excuse me and drive down to field 81. and we should be able to maneuver down there is this unfold? Oh yeah, okay. We don't need to unfold it yet. I think we can we can get down there without uh, needing the header trailer. So this is going to take me a little while because this guy only goes 12 miles an hour. So I will see you guys down to field 81. All right, guys. We're just about here at the field. Let's get the combine unfolded. I ended up having to babysit uh, the AI driving the big combine. He kept getting tangled up and stuff, which isn't a surprise. Um, so we got that taken care of. And are you doing straw? No. Enable straw. Okay. All right. So let's get this little field knocked out here. And then we'll load up the grain from this field and head up or bring the trailer up to eight and then both of those will go to feed and grain south and like I said we'll probably just use our combine for the other little fields and that way we can keep the big combine on the big fields for the rest of the harvesting Since we have some sunflowers there, we'll do a little a little headland. Well, actually, can I? It'd be easier not to for baling, but not that that's a big deal. But it sort of is because we're gonna have the AI do the baling. All right, you guys aren't seeing me run over these sunflowers, okay? It's not actually happening. It just kind of appeared that way. And of course, I wouldn't actually do that if it destroyed him. I'm hoping when I set the AI up with the V-Rake and the baler that they'll be able to handle the, the vast majority of the straw banding without me having to babysit them a lot, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I've been pretty impressed so far with how well, you know, that setup actually works.
I'm still just thoroughly enjoying this game, man. It is so fun. Appreciate all of you guys that watch it on a regular basis. Don't get a lot of views on it, unfortunately, but it's just because I'm new uh, to this game. There's a lot of other people that have been doing it a lot longer than I have. But, you know, I, uh, I just enjoy the game so much myself, you know, on a personal level that in spite of that, I'm, I'm going to keep playing it. Maybe down the road, you know, I'll, I'll get a, a larger audience, but I'm just going to, I'm going to play it anyway, just because I enjoy it so much, you know. Most of my viewers um, and subs on this channel are from Seven Days to Die. Um, which is a completely different, you know, genre than this. It's survival genre. So, you know, you can't expect to break into something brand new while you're already still a small channel anyways. And, uh, you know, get a whole bunch of views right away. So it'll happen over time, I'm sure. But those of you who do watch on a regular basis, really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep going, man. We'll keep going and keep enjoying this awesome game. Next month is when the Platinum Edition comes out uh, with the new forestry map. So I'm tentatively planning on, on doing that and getting into some forestry. I did a little bit of forestry on a multiplayer server that I had for a while. And... Uh, it was kind of a, a bittersweet experience. It was it was fun to do, but it was just really um, really glitchy and uh, frustrating. So hopefully, you know, with the new forestry tools that the giants have, along with hopefully maybe tweaking the code a little bit to make make it work and better in general, uh, it'll, it'll be a little bit better. Well, time will tell though. It's mostly the logs. I mean, moving the logs around, they would just do all kinds of weird stuff. And it was a pain in the neck. Okay, so we'll get this guy loaded up, and then we're going to send him up to field eight, where we'll get started with the big combine. And in the meanwhile, we'll send the little combine to the next small field that we're going to have to do which will probably just be up the road back up to uh, here, let's fold that up yeah back up to 67 and then that's actually all we have to do in the south part of the map everything else is going to be in the north part of the map right okay so uh, I'm going to have to drive this combine myself. But let's get you to field eight. So let's see. Set destination. And why don't you just kind of park along here? I got the big combine there waiting. All right, you're going to go? Go for it, man. He's calculating. <clears throat> there he goes. Okay. All right. I'm going to drive um, this combine over to, to field 60 or 61 or whatever that was. And then I'll meet you guys up at uh, the north grain mill to drop off that first load. All right, guys. We are at uh, the north... Uh, feed mill here so let's um, go ahead and dump this grain I'm gonna s try and save as much of it as I can it's not gonna be very much but every little bit helps I suppose and we want to make sure we're doing the tip side grain door because that way we have a little more control over how much of it's going in Here we go. Get ready to stop it as soon as it's finished. Nope. It psyched me out, man. 
There we go. Okay, so we have <clears throat> 797 liters. <laughs> That's not very much. But hey, like I said, um, I, I think I'll just actually throw this right on into the grain mill so we can at least get some flour started up. It's not going to be a lot. So, yeah, let's send you back to the farm. Hopefully you can make it there. These double wide tires um, cause this guy to get caught up pretty easily. Um, I'm just going to have you pull alongside the road here and park there. Well, here, actually. Let's have you pull into here. So you're not on the on the road. And then um, we'll, we'll go back later and dump that in the mill. Okay, so we'll get you started in a second. What I want to do now is uh, get the big combine going on field eight here. Let's straighten you out a little bit. Okay. Disconnect the header trailer. PTO going, get the combine unfolded. Still on straw swaths. That's good. Not really any way we can't drive over the crop on this one just because everything's so tight here but fortunately it doesn't actually damage it okay so we're gonna set the worker loose on this one and we will go back to you still have a little ways to go we'll go back to this combine and get this little field knocked out so every other field from here on out is all going to Johnson's uh, farmer's market so we can just combine all of the grain from it and we'll have to send um, a trailer down here to pick up um, actually after we drop the grain off at our own mill that trailer will send down here to pick up this grain yeah that's a plan all right moving right along here Okay, I actually had to uh, leave for a little while in real life, so I had just paused the game, and now I'm back. Not that that really matters to you guys, because it's pretty much just going to keep going. <laughs> uh, but I went out, took my wife out to breakfast for her birthday, because today is October the 5th, and it's her birthday. So happy birthday, wifey. We're going to have the our kids come over later today for some dinner and festivities so that would be fun uh, all right so let's see we are finishing up this field here and then we got uh, we got to bring our trailer back down here to pick up this load before we move everything up north I think this was the last field we had to do down south as I recall Turned around here. Okay, so AI worker, somebody has just finished. So let's set a worker on there. And all right, yeah, so that worker's doing that. We want to find this guy. Okay, right, because we're going to drop off the grain at our mill so we can get flour producing again and then send this one back down to where we just came from to pick up that load. Now I remember what we're doing. Oh, actually, I'm supposed to turn this way. I noticed, too, that this uh, trigger area is actually kind of floating a little bit. So I might have to try and fix that later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, looks like that's over, over the dump area. <laughs> that wasn't very much, but hey, like I said, every little bit helps. By the end of the day, we'll... 
we'll have a nice decent amount of um, grain. Okay, so let's get you started again on barley flour. Um, that might even finish before we get another load in there, but it'll get started and uh, we'll be good. Okay, so yeah, we're going to take um, this back down south there. And probably by the time I get there, that combine... Well, actually, here, no, let's have a worker bring it down, even though the worker does have a little bit of trouble with this tractor with the wide wheels. Let me get it over this direction. All right, and then set destination. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Yeah, it looks like that guy's done. Um... Actually, hold on. Let me think about this. We're going to go. We're going to go up to 27 next. So there's not really much point in bringing this worker all the way down here since we're taking the combine back up. So let's actually have the worker stage at 27, just maybe along here. Okay. That should be good. Um, now, let's go back to the farm. Are you completely done? Yes, you are. All right. I'm going to have to drive this one up myself. Um, and I want to grab the Fent. Right there. And let's get this tractor started with the, the straw baling. So we'll hook up the V-rake. And uh, the square baler. When you guys told me in the comments that you also, after watching um, me use it, you got the V rake and you really love it, and I, I, I agree, man. This is such a nice implement to have, for sure. So I'm glad you're you're enjoying it too. There we go. Oh, I forgot to set my my clothes back to distributing. So let's go to clothing or clothes and change the output mode to distributing. And then we're just going to pop this back in here because uh, we won't be selling that until next April. And then we'll have a full year's worth. Man, we're going to make some good money on that. Absolutely. Okay, so let's send you to field 61. And we'll just have you stage right there. And you have a full grain tank. Okay, let's get this guy dropped off. The auger's in the wrong direction. Look at that. <laughs> he just missed that one tiny little strip there. How funny is that? So just this field and what's currently in the trailer are the only other two, or the only two loads, I should say, that are going to feed and grain south. What if we can get all of it in this trailer? Probably not. Maybe, though. We'll see. And once this is done, then we'll get the John Deere on the big fields, going on the big fields. We should get, you know, a little bit more grain from these two fields. And uh, I'll probably, uh, if we get close to 9,000 liters, I'll probably throw all that in the chicken coop. Okay, so if I just turn you loose, will you get that last little piece? Let's just see what he does. Oh, it says no field found. Okay, yeah. I'll have to take care of it then. Get him turned around.
Okay, go to it. Go to it, man. Uh, yeah, you're right there. I'm going to come back to you in a second. I want to see how full this is. Oh, that's only 52%, but, I mean, it still has the weight limit, though, too, so we'll see how much more it can actually hold. All right, I'm going to drive... Uh, well, actually, hold on. Since this other guy's here, let's get him started bailing. Okay, so let's just turn this guy loose and see. Hopefully they'll be able to do the majority of the field. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not really sure how well it's going to work. We're going to find out, though. Next time I cut my own hay, uh, which is going to be later today, in-game day, I'm going to... Um... Yeah, it looks like he's still going. Okay. I don't think I'll windrow it this time. I think I'm just going to leave it loose and see if that works a little bit better. Because I... Th my theory is that it's going to give the AI a little more. Uh, he's going. It, it's going to be able to tell you know what needs to be windrowed a little bit better than hey that's already windrowed if that makes sense. That's my theory, anyways. I don't know if it'll actually work that way. We'll have to see. But he seems to be continuing on there. All right, good. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over this bridge with the header, so we're going to have to go around. But I will meet you guys uh, up at, um, let's see, what field? Up at 27 to get started with this combine. Okay, looks like our big combine has a full tank, so we'll come back and finish taking him up there. The little combine. You're still doing your thing. Oh, it says you don't have access to this land. It's probably because they were too far over. Okay. Let's get them restarted over this way. Why does it keep saying that? It's picking up the straw. Okay, now it stopped saying it. Here, let's just stick with him for a second, see what happens here. Yeah, it's it's it not it's not windrowing, but it's okay. I don't know. Something's weird here. I'm gonna have to take care of this myself. Uh, but let's let's get to this first. Okay, so we have just one little strip to do there. Maybe the AI bailing will work better on a larger field, perhaps. Okay, so we're going to have to come back to finish this up because this field has to go down to Feeding Grain South. Um, but probably we'll be able to finish this last strip anyway, and then the combine will just have to wait till the wagon gets back to it. Well, hopefully it can get to the end. I guess if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Uh, okay, what we might actually do is let's actually send you over there too. And then we'll come back and worry about this one.
Okay, let's see if we can get all of this green in here. I think we'll be able to. Okay, so now we'll drive the John Deere over to field 10 and get it started on the big field. And, um, well, actually here, why don't we get the two wagons loads of green heading over to um, feeding grain south. So just stage yourself right there. And then for you, you can stage yourself maybe on this side. And looks like they're both off. Okay, so hopefully they don't get stuck along the way. I wouldn't bet any money on it though. Probably might need to do some of the headland on here, but I'm just gonna turn it loose and see how it does. And as usual, we can always pick up the, the slack later. Okay, so we'll get it started here. Go to it. Uh, now, let's get you going. So many things to do all at once. <laughs> oh, man, this challenges my limited multitasking ability, I'll tell you what. We're making it happen, though. All right, somebody's blocked. It's probably the guy with the dualies. I'm not even sure why they put dualies on the tractor for this job. All it's doing is hauling green. It doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me okay you're good and you are oh okay you're back what are you doing man it'll be a miracle if it makes it through that bridge well maybe it won't maybe it'll go around the bridge over the ford uh okay back to you We'll get this one started and then we'll go finish up our, our little baleen friend. I'm probably just going to end up doing the all the baleen myself um, on the small fields anyways. Because it just seems to have too much trouble trying to figure out what it's supposed to do on the smaller fields. Okay, we'll get this uh, worker started here. Um, they're probably going to have some challenge with this irregular field, but let them do as much as they can anyway. Let's see. Okay, you. Let's get this finished. Yeah, I don't know why the rake doesn't work. Um, I haven't turned in the quest, so technically I still have access to this land. At least the bailing works, that's the important part. Yeah, the rake doesn't work for some reason. How interesting, okay. Yeah, we might as well turn the rake off. I hope we don't have that problem on the larger fields. Because the rake's like our secret weapon. That's what gets the worker to do this. Man, that combine doesn't take long to fill up. Okay, it looks like maybe we have uh, one of our workers at Feed and Grain South. So let's pause this job again after I get it lined up here. close enough okay you're full I'm gonna take the worker out of here for now so they're not charging us and we'll turn this around so we can drive up to it 
and let's turn the engine off to save fuel. All right, you're getting there. And you're doing okay. And this is who we need. All right, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take all of this grain, but I still wanna make sure it's the grain door, just in case. Okay, it says 80 is finished, but we also need uh, to finish 8 as well. Right, which is, was the bigger one. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, I was fully expecting that to take all of it. And we still have 42% more to do. Okay, good. So let's take you get you back out on the road and back up to the field set destination head back up to field 10 and just stayed yourself right about there okay now where's the other guy you oh did I tell you to go the wrong place I think I did. <laughs> yep. That's right. Just got to go back down the road a little ways. Okay. Now we have to make sure we stop this one because this will finish field eight. That leaves us 2,500 liters. Okay. So that's not too bad. And um, I think I'm just going to throw this in the grain mill, too. We'll worry about the chickens at the end of everything because chickens, they're not out of food. They're just low. Okay, so I want you to stage at the farm. Um, see if you can manage to get yourself right about here without getting stuck. Okay, you're full, so let's just stop you for the moment until we're, we can come back to you. You're on your way back to the field, and I think, yeah, you're waiting for them to come back. All right, so let's get back to this for a little bit more here. You know, if the... V-Rake's not going to work at all. We might as well just fold it up. Give us a little bit more room to maneuver here. Okay, so Worker F has completed their task. It's going to be one of the wagon drivers. So let's just get this little bit here and then we'll go deal with them. Push that bale out of the way. Yep, it's you. Okay. Drop this off in the grain mill. Okay, so that gets us up to um, 3,260 liters. Very nice. Okay. Once I kind of, once we get all the little fields out of the way and we're just on the big fields, I might switch over to my larger trailers. We'll see. But if we're running two of these at the same time on the same field, that we might be able to keep up with it. Ideal scenario is to have the combine running, you know, all the time. But we're not going to really be able to do that until we get all the little fields done first so I can stay focused over here, you know. Let's 
start you up. Hey, you made it over here. All right. Wonders never cease. We can probably get this entire field in this one trailer, I'm thinking. And everything else now goes to Johnson's Farmer's Market, too, so... You don't have to worry about separating anything. You gonna pull the pipe in? Yeah, there he goes. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll just leave this here. It's only 21% full. Let that continue on, and you can stay where you are. And I think we can get back to finishing this. I wonder if the windrower doesn't work on these fields because the game doesn't see it as a hay field. Hmm. If that's the case, that means I'm going to have to do all of the baling. I suppose I could use follow me with the combine, but yeah, that's an idea. That would probably work too. But then then I have to drive the combine because if the AI drives the combine, it's going to probably get uh they're going to get like tangled up with each other. Maybe. Still might be worth it though. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, we'll try it. There's no, there's, you know, no harm in trying, right? But I'll get the little fields done first, and then whatever's left on the big field, uh, field 10, we'll try follow me, or if field 10's done by then, then we'll do it on field 38 or whatever that other field is. I know I messed a little tiny bit over there, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Okay. So, I'm going to run over here and get this next little field bailed. Uh, let's try the Windrake one more time, though, just to see what happens here. Maybe there was something else going on with that other field that was causing it to be confused. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because it's it's not a hay field, right? And so... But, I mean, a windrower should work for straw, too. Of course, the game automatically windrows it for you, so maybe that's just not in the code. That's the only thing I can think of. But what that means, too, is we don't actually need the V-Rake on here, so at some point I'll take it back to the farm because it's just in the way now. Now it looks like our combine's full. All right. Let's go take care of that. It's always got the pipe on the wrong side. Okay, that's all this wagon can take. We got half of it out of there anyway. How are you doing? It's yeah, still going. Okay, good. Uh, I want you. Okay, you're just going right on over to Johnson's, which is not far away at all. In fact, it's so close, I could probably just drive it over there myself. But let me make sure everybody else is good for the moment. Yeah, we got to finish you. And you're just waiting for him. Okay, let's get back to this. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, we didn't actually drop any bales on that field. No, nope, so we don't have to pick it up. All right, let's send you down to field 80. And you can just stage right here. Oh, he drops the bales off in the street. Dude, what the heck, man? All right, I'll have to remember that these bales are sitting here. That was funny. If I would have known he's going to do that, I would have just dropped him off in the field myself. Okay, let's get you going. We don't need to worry about grain door tipping until we get close to the end here. 67 is finished. And 19% for field 10. Alright, let's just get you right back on over there and get the next load out. 